those who are responsible uh, for violating the rights of the protesters, uh, violating freedom of assembly, are getting off scot-free. For example, we have a very senior police official, a senior deputy inspector general of police, uh, and even the attorney general has recommended that action be taken against him. Uh, but there has been no clear actions taken against him. And there is a lot of credible evidence, including videos, of his involvement in physical attacks uh, against the protesters. So this is a kind of a contradiction that we see. Protesters are being uh, uh, you know, targeted and they are facing reprisals, yeah. but those who are responsible for the violations are enjoying uh, impunity. I think the highest focus should be on preventing violations of freedom of assembly and association. And towards this, uh, preemptive uh, interventions to address imminent violations are very important. The special rapporteur on uh, freedom of assembly and association and also the special rapporteur on human rights defenders has done this recently uh, in relation to imminent violations of protests in Sri Lanka last year. Uh, the deployment of uh, international observers as done by Amnesty International last year in Sri Lanka uh, in the face of imminent violations of freedom of assembly may also be helpful. Uh, but sometimes, after violations happen, there needs to be some serious international actions as well. Uh, I think uh, in the face of uh, very serious and systemic violations of uh, freedom of assembly, uh, restrictions on travel and asset freezers should be considered against those credibly accused to be involved or even negligent in preventing very serious and systematic violations of freedom of assembly.